Hello, it's Barry. Welcome to Barry Collector. Today, we're going to take a look at what is the expected value of a Scarlet and Violet 151 booster pack. And to do that, we're going to take a look at some data. I have an Excel spreadsheet ready for you guys, as well as we'll see what are some 151 sealed items selling for both in the European Union, as you can see, work market, as well as on TCG Player, as we like to do here on the channel. We like to show both what is happening in the European market, being myself in Europe, as well as in the US. So the purpose of this video is to get an idea of what is expected value. And we're gonna answer that in today's video to try to say if it is worth buying Pokemon 151 sealed items. And if so, which one? As well as this could be part of a two video series where I'm also going to do the same for Japanese 151. So let's get started. First things first, let's take a look at what are the main products available for 151 where you can get sealed products. Now, in my opinion, the main ones are booster bundles of which you can also get sealed displays of 10X and you can find them on car market if you're in the U down here at the bottom. As you can see here, there's no dedicated section for this particular item, whereas there is on TCG player if you're American and you can find them here starting at 459 euros starting at 459 euros and then as you can see here just looking at english products basically the lowest one this is switzerland then uk so if you're in the u you're going to have to pay custom as well as shipping might be quite expensive so usually market price seems to be around 40 to 43 euros the most volume at lower prices is here 43 euros from belgium now let's take a look at the american market and we can see how they are selling for right about $40, as you can see, shipped, which is a bit different if you are American and you're new to car market. These prices do not include shipping. If I want to see shipping, I need to log into my account and shipping is different based on the European country you live in. Now, take a look at 151 ETBs, which I think is also one of the main sealed products available. We can see how they are sitting in the EU for right about 50 euros. You can find for a bit below 50 euros here from German sellers. And uh, I would feel confident saying that volume is already here at these lower prices. If you take a look at the American market, you can see how they are selling for 52, $53, which is roughly actually 45 to 46 euros. And that does include shipping. Whereas again, same thing here, I'm not logged in. So these prices do not include shipping, which for reference can be between 10 to 15 euros, depends on location and also factors such as the size of the product itself. Now, 151 UPCs, you can find them for as low as 110 euros, which is where I would f feel comfortable saying there is volume. When I talk about volume, I mean, there's a l big sellers that is selling a large amount. In this case, I would consider 69 to be a significant amount. Whereas in the American market, you can find them for about, as you can see here, they're selling for about $100 and lowest listed, as you can see here, $108 shipped. Again, same thing, this does not include shipping. So overall, as always, as we're used to here on the channel, as well as basically what we have been used to for us Europeans, this product is a bit more expensive than what it is in the US. Also consider that I am aware that in the US many times you can also find deals on Facebook groups, which is something that doesn't really happen over here. Now, already you could ask yourself, what is the best product? Is it booster bundles, ETBs, UPCs? Now, before we dive into that, let's take a look at what is the expected value of a booster pack. So here we are on the spreadsheet now, I gathered data from a very well-known YouTuber who opened 1,692 packs. Now, posted a video on YouTube, so I just took the data. I doubt he's ever gonna watch this video. Hope you guys find this helpful as I also added the expected value of every card. So in simple terms, what I did is, here we have double rare, ultra rare, IR, SIR, and hyper rare. Now, in 151, you can find double rare and ultra rares in the rare slot. Whereas you can find IR, SIR, 
and hyper rare in the reverse slot. What does it mean? It means that you can, and people have done it, it's possible, you can pull both an ultra rare and an SIR on the same pack. Now, that being said, simply, this number is the number of times you're going to pull this card, which I Svenizer EX, you're going to pull it one every 68 packs. Now, the probability, and again, these were the numbers of packs open. Is it enough? No. So this is just rough estimates. I've seen, I've compared this data with other data online to see if the real percentage for any double rare, any ultra rare matched, and they did. So again, it's not precise, but it's precise enough to get an estimate, not a precise idea, but an estimate. That's how it works. Now, again, this is probability of pulling this particular card. And here on this column, you have the value based on TCG player as of today, which is January 21st, 2024. For future reference, we'll most likely, we'll take a look at this video in the future and see how prices have changed and how the prices of packs have changed themselves. So this here is simply the expected win, let's say, for every card. Simply this number multiplied by this number. That's expected win. That's probability of winning. It's kind of like you flip a coin. You have 50% probability. If you bet one, you have a 50% probability of betting one. So your expected return is 50 cents. Same thing. You sum it up, that's expected value of pulling any double rare. I did the same thing for all these rarities. And here you can find that's expected value of pulling an ultra rare, an illustration rare, a SIR, and an hyper rare. And you can see here in the rare slot, which again, just double rare and ultra rare, the expected value is $1.07. In the reverse slot, the expected value is two dollars and fifty cents. This is the total expected value for a 151 pack. Now I haven't considered common, uncommons, regular rare, a regular reversed. So this number could be a bit higher, not by much. Nevertheless, again, this could be a, a pretty decent rough estimate for the value of the pack. A quick break, let me just steal 10 seconds from this video. If you enjoy what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing and check out the other videos on the channel. We are planning on doing a box break for 200 subs. As you can see here, we're breaking a pretty evolved two euros per pack, a slot of four packs, especially for Europeans. So if you want to participate, I highly recommend you join the Discord, the link in the description of this video, as well as you will find other people who enjoy Pokemon and collecting cards in general. So back to the video now, having this number, we can see what is the average cost per pack in every item and see which one makes the most sense to buy if you want to open. And then we'll also draw some consideration which makes the most sense to buy as a long-term investment hold. So before we take a look at what is the average price for a 151 booster pack on every product, let me just say a couple of things first. So obviously in booster bonus, you only have the boosters and ETBs. You do have this normal promo. Now, remember we are considering regular ETBs, not Pokemon Center ones, as well as you do have the usual dies and sleeves. And the 151, you do have three promos as well as the playmat and again, some dices and coins. So that being said, if we take a look at the values, so for bundles, I simply divided by the number of boosters available, which are six. And here on the European market, I also added shipping. I estimated about eight to 10 euros for shipping. And obviously the more you buy, the lower this number is going to get as you're going to save on shipping per booster pack. TCG player shipping is almost always included and it comes down to $7.1. Now these are euros. These are dollars. ETBs, I subtracted about two, two and a half euros and dollars each, considering, considering this Norlux is about 30 to 40 cents. And the other items inside, you can sell them for about two dollars, two euros. 
So it comes down to 6.4 euros per pack. On the European side, again here I also added about 10 euros for shipping and 5.8 considering shipping included on this new player. UBC is where things get interesting because I subtracted about 25 euros and dollars from both considering that promos are selling for about 20 euros to 20 dollars as a set and then you do have the other items as well. So again here I added 10 euros for shipping on car market and it comes down to about 5.9 euros per pack whereas on in the American market it comes down to about 5 dollars per pack. Now despite what these numbers are, what is their absolute value, what is interesting is how the more you spend on a product the less every pack is going to cost. So looking at these numbers the logical conclusion is UPCs is the way to go if you want to open packs. Now what is a product that is going to see the largest gain in the future as well as going to be the easiest to sell. Here I'll take data aside and I'll just give you my own opinion. Personally I don't believe in single booster bundles but I am interested in the idea of having a sealed display because of the value of it as well as if people will want to open the product and get as many hits as possible this is a good way to do it as well as in my opinion is also a great display piece. So great to display, doesn't take too much space, obviously much more than a regular booster box it would take, but still let's say it would take less space than a UPC case. You can open products, open 60 packs, and eventually you might pull something very interesting. So it might be an interesting play in the future. ETBs, I have to be honest, wouldn't, and I'm not buying them. The main reason why I actually explained it in my latest video where I went over some of the mistakes I made in my inversion journey. So if you want to take a look at it, you'll find the link. The link should be popping up right now as I'm talking. And then the 151 UPC, I think it's better than the ETP because of the promos. The promos might hold value as well as I see they are, they are going for quite some money in a PSA 10 as they seem to come out as not only the print quality is not the best, but the way they're displayed doesn't really prevent them from getting damaged. So I do see value in this. You get a nice number of packs. You get 16 packs in here, which a pretty good play if you want to open. Most likely you will pull something good. Uh, you should pull on average on illustration rare. The only problem I have with this is the size, which is a bit large. So what I like to look at is the ratio of shipping over the cost and as you probably understood from this video it seems to be more of an issue in the European Union rather than in the US so that's one of the main thing I am concerned now I'll open a newer question which if you want me to cover it and do the same thing as I did here today please let me know down in the comments is Japanese Pokemon 151 the booster boxes are they a better investment could they be a better investment than any 151 English product. Again, if you want to see a video on it and you want to see some data just like you saw today, please let me know in the comments. If you don't want to miss out on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps. And if you did enjoy the video, I would highly appreciate it if you leave a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.